Hello everybody, this is Fairy McGuess speaking, and today we are playing Day of the Tentacle Remastered. I've been having a lot of trouble running this game. I also got a sore in my mouth right now. Why not my tongue apparently? And well... And well, um... The game has a real problem with audio slowdown. So, in order to fix fix that so far, I've tried compatibility mode with Windows XP Service Pack 3. All the other service packs, base Windows XP. I have it currently sitting on Windows XP Service Pack 3 for compatibility. I have the NVIDIA High Definition, both of them, the Wave Extensible and the base version. Disabled. And I have my video recorder set to only use half the CPU. Not all of it. This this problem seems to have been introduced with the remastered version and more than likely does not exist with the original game. Now let's get on to what we need to say. I've heard a lot about the game. I've, I've, because of these problems, I have seen a lot of the game so far. So, all my initial reactions are gone because of this problem I've been having. So, let's go ahead and begin. Hopefully none of that audio slowdown occurs. To be honest, this is not the, the the slowdown is something that should have never left the release stage. This game also goes by the name of Maniac Mansion 2. And is a direct sequel to the original mm -hmm. Maniac Mansion. I don't think you should drink that. Oh, but he will. It's bad for you. He will. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. And he grows arms! Run for the hills! <clears throat> Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. <laughs> I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion! <clears throat> I 
this is pretty decent. A this is pretty good. Very, actually, very, very good animation for the time that it was created in. <clears throat> and the way the, the the light goes around, that's pretty damn good. You just didn't have that in most animation back then. You just plain didn't. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? A horticultural horror. <laughs> horticultural horror. And I will be checking out practically I can't everything. I touch it, it's spiny. Of course it's spiny, it's a cactus! Laverne's covering that territory. It's permanently attached to the countertop. I think you have to push it. It won't go any further. I don't know the combination. The safe is closed. <clears throat> oh, it is, is it? It doesn't seem to open. I don't think I can pick that up. It's fine where it is. I left my little black book at home. I'd rather not. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Fred has them neatly arranged on the desk. There's probably nothing interesting in it. I hope no one's watching. <laughs> I look so goofy on video. I hope no one's watching. I look, I look so, so goofy, goofy on, on video. video. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. I have three just like it at home. <laughs> it doesn't seem to open. I best not mess with it. Ooh, done. Whenever there was a pay, pay phone to in the 90s, 
in the 2000s, I would always check these things because people would sometimes leave their quarters in the thing. Yeah, I forgot the... Which one was... Which one was examined? Top two pool. Hey. Close payphone. I'd rather not. I don't think I can pick that up. It's stuck to the floor. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. Yeah. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Dink. Help wanted, lab assistant. Hardworking, moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma, not required. <laughs> I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. Ho up. Hoagie's got that part of the oh, house. Okay, Hoagie. Oh. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Oh, really? Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? She looks... Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. <clears throat> yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Oops. Oh, he'll take Power over the world, all right. Now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course, that's why I'll have to do it yesterday through the time machine. <coughs> this is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the chronogen. Look burns eye. Oh, can't you just send Bernard? No, you it's must like, all go to increase like she's the odds that one of you will doing make it like or something. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> Their faces. <laughs> Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was definitely a Wizard of Oz reference. 
We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It worked! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, it would suck to be held up by your underwear like that and not being able to do anything about it. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the, in the future. future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, Ooh, where battery. did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I don't want to cause any more trouble. It can't do anything without a new diamond. Hmm. I picked up a Swiss handbook. I wonder what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. I think it's the switch for the sludge-o-matic machine. Obligatory in every lap. <laughs> there, it's off. But it's too late now. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. Right, there's the plans right there. I've got the plans! Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? <laughs> My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes! Down the toilet! No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay, Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. 
Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Mm -hmm. Talk Time about being drunk. The, the world, I guess. It's empty. There's nothing to get. Yes, there is. I can't open it. Vinegar, lettuce, oil, gold, croutons. Really? Croutons. Croutons. Need a fork. It's in super salad battery. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. Mmm, kumquats. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. <laughs> Has to be a human being. <laughs> if you think I'm something to look at now, just wait. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. You are truly whacked, Ben. Huh, that's what they said about the man who invented bifocals. Wasn't that you? Good point. Guess they were right. <laughs> I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. So where's this Red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. What's so bad about Red? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane! And he the steals other people's hammer. inventions, too, before <clears throat> they can even apply for the patent! Aren't, handers, aren't hammers devoid of right or left-handedness? How do you, how do you, how, how, how do you make a left or right-handed hammer? Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar hmm. guy, not bad. Well, see ya. Carry on. Hmm. Uh-oh, Yogi, you just gave the wrong thing. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Electricity? That would be me. Well, see ya. Carry on. Hmm. The carriage. It's totally covered with crud. Of course. Yo, 
are brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Mm. You wouldn't be him, would you? I'm talking to a dead man. Great hat. I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that. Oh, really? Know where I could get them a couple of hats extra big? Do they come in a variety of designer colors? Maybe like a gold lame or something. It's a gold lame. I don't suppose you'd consider parting with yours, would you? Well, let me know if you change your mind. Well, nice talking to you, dude. Hmm, I wonder where this goes. Covered with plans and junk. Hey, only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Hey, <clears throat> what is it? You look kind of familiar. Yep. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? <clears throat> Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Ooh. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. Oh, you mean those artist dudes? My nearly Oops. indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Nah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Circular geometry! Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine being named after a sandwich. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Yep. Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. 
No, really. I'm not washing.